Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. We're going to start today's episode by getting a full bounty load of water, uh, which will only take a minute, and then we can give this to the sheep, they'll definitely take all of it, and then we can check upon the chickens. Uh, the sheep certainly should have enough food. They've been given an awful lot recently. The chickens do need feeding though, so we'll do that with the front loader and bucket, and then we can have a look at the field which we drew in the previous episode. The new sort of expansion, the grass expansion where the forest used to be. go, another 1,000 litres. We may replace this at some point. It would be good to have more capacity, although it's not really far to go, so it isn't really a huge chore to get a full bound load of water. Um, but yeah, I think maybe having a 5,000 litre capacity bouncer would be ideal. That'd be great. Because that would probably last a few days. Try and nip between these two cars. Oh, sorry, madam. She's fine. She jumped out of the way. Right. Just get that into the trigger. Yeah, there is a bale there. That's the grass bale, I believe, which we produced in the previous episode. Yep. So no surprise there. They took all of that. Now, really, we should roll the top piece. This piece has been rolled, even though it will say it hasn't been, um, because this roller is basically adding a layer of fertilizer. So this will need it. This is actually ready to cut, but we're going to do it all at the same time. Not today, we have other jobs to do. Uh, such as selling the wool for an extremely high price. So I mustn't block that shed, we need to get into there. I'll just park this here against the fence, ready for the next load. Uh, right, so yes, my bucket, do we have, we do have a bucket, don't we? Yeah, it's over there. So that's going to be required for feeding the chickens. And we do have a loan to repay for the first time. Which is not good, because we obviously had to um, get the silo. I could have gone for a cheaper silo, but this one just felt right. Um, but yeah, it's not good because we've also got a lot of machinery rented, but we're going to be buying those eventually. So we've just got to make sure we don't go into debt, but I don't think we will do with the wall. Because that should really bring in thousands and thousands of pounds today. We've been keeping it all for this moment. It should be at its best price. Um, actually, we've already got 482 litres in the bucket. That might be enough. Oh, and the chickens also have a full pallet of eggs. Thank you, chickens. Slow and steady, because it does overflow. Right, they've taken all of that. How far or full are we? Not far. Um, I will get another bucket load. Well, I'll get some in the bucket, not much. Maybe 200 litres. Should be more than enough. But I reckon we've got enough in storage here for a while. Really, we should transfer this to the silo. Because then we can store machinery in here again. Okay, that was more than 200, but anyway, we can drop the rest into the silo. Yeah, I will um, roll the field first, and then we will transfer it to the silo. It's almost there, so close. Yep, it's overflowing. Excuse me, hands. Thank you. Brilliant. So the chickens are happy, the sheep are happy. That's all really productive. This isn't too fussy, I think we can just tip it here. Yep. Very good. Um, so, where is it? Wall, there it is. Still increasing, 3555, which is a very good price. It's almost what we're getting, what we're showing here. Um, it's actually showing that May is the best now, but it's going to be certainly good enough today. So, we'll just do it later in the episode. Get as much as we can do. So, let's just. Well, I'll keep the bucket attached, actually. Let's just attach to those uh, rollers. This is literally a two-minute job, if that. It's such a tiny area. Now, if I drive on anything, I think it's going to revert the crop back to its first growth stage. Uh, now, as this field is all going to be harvested at the same time, all cut at the same time, 
it doesn't matter if I just go up the side here. We've got to get there, so... I don't think there is a way of sort of turning it off. <laughs> it's not really the sort of thing you can turn off. Uh, it's just contacting the ground. It's just the way it's working. So that's fine. Actually, when I did this top piece, I should have drilled those little bits there of stubble. Right. So as we progress up the field, I'll just quickly open the fertilizer map. And as you can see, top piece is only half done. So by doing this, we're going to get that second application. And it's going to look really good. Uh, also, as we go downhill now, we should pick up speed. What a transformation. Taking the trees out. I want to put some trees in again, just for decoration. Looking good. Right, so um, yeah, we'll just do this, then we can completely empty the shed and hopefully we can put some machinery back into the shed, as we are really lacking storage. Well, it looks like we almost have a full trailer. So let's just keep shoveling. There might be something that's come out of the back. If so, I'll go around there and get it. We have the hand shovel. It's not too easy to get into these tighter areas, but that is another full bucket load. Um, I don't know if this will fit into the trailer. It looks pretty full. I would say that is full. Getting another 1,000 litres into it is probably pushing it. So there we go. Let's just tip that there. And we'll do the final tidy up. There is a piece in that corner and a piece next to the bales. Uh, now where did I put the shovel? Where did I put the hand shovel? Uh, it should be near the house really. Ah, perfect. It is near the house. It is going to be easier just to scoop this out by hand. I think I dropped it. Good system. Unless you throw it everywhere, of course. I think that was going in, I just overshot. And we'll quickly run around the back. Hopefully it's all clear. It's looking good. Oh, there's a bit there. I really shouldn't amount to too much. Actually, maybe I can uh, put this in the trailer. It's a bigger thing to aim for. Oh, oh, oh. Not ready yet. Okay. There. Good. Right, so maybe just one more scoop. I can't really see. I, <laughs> I probably should have cleared the weeds. No, it's more than one scoop. Okay, well, I'll just get this done.
Well, there we go. That's got a lot of the machinery under cover. It's actually looking quite neat. Which I know will satisfy quite a lot of people because, yeah, having a really messy farm is not good. And I do get people all the time saying, tidy your farm up. So there we go. Hopefully that is an improvement for you. We do still have the cultivator outside, but really most things, most important things, are under cover. So now we can tip this trailer. Oh, it's so close to full. 97%. Which means we're going to have quite a bit in storage. And it's much neater and easier to manage than tipping it on the ground. Worth every penny, this silo. There we go. Okay, right. Well, now we can start to load up the wall. Uh, I didn't actually check the price for eggs, so maybe the price is good. It's April, so yes. Why is it always at the bottom whenever I look? <laughs> uh, although that doesn't seem um, too bad. 2582. Two, yeah, it's it's improving. There's a big jump to May, so we can sell the eggs next time, or maybe even uh, the time after that. There's not really a rush. Pop that trailer there. And we need to load this one up. So let's just pull it forward. We've got many pallets in the uh, sheep's shed over there. And we've got these three here. So we'll just pop them onto the trailer. Make it nice and neat. Lovely. Yeah, it's going to be a good load. It's going to make a big difference to our bank accounts. Hopefully we can clear the loan. That would be an achievement. We've got a full one there as well. Oh, I see we've got a field to harvest over there too. Well, we can do that probably before we sell this because the price is still increasing. It can be the grand finale selling all of this. Okay, ready? Here we go. It's bulging. Well, not quite, but yeah, we've still got another four in here. And we will take the one which is currently being produced, but not yet. We'll allow it to fill up a bit more. So it looks like we are going to make it onto the second layer, which is always good to see. Careful. Good. Right. Strap. And we can park the trailer here. Detach. Okay. Right. That's looking good. Now we might not actually need to take a trailer to the other field to actually come to think of it. <laughs> They're not very big at all. Uh, so we can probably just bring the combine back to here and unload it straight into the silo unless we want to sell the crop today. Um, I'm not too sure if we do want to do that. Let's just see. Um, yeah, so fill number two, that will not fill it. It's wheat. The price for wheat is best in December. It's actually not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. I think we will take it to Colonia. So we are going to have to attach the trailer but it will be probably less than a full combine load. Highly likely. Just go and park it over here. And there may be something else that we can sell as well to make it worthwhile. The thing is, I, I would like to keep all of the barley for chicken feed. Soybeans, yeah, they were from a previous harvest. Waiting for the price to increase. The best time is June for the soybeans. So they're not bad again. It's not bad at the moment, but I think probably we'll keep hold of them. Because, yeah, I think really requesting the train is so cheap. It's a thousand pounds an hour, which sounds super expensive, but you only actually have it for a few minutes. So it's like 25 pounds. Really not too bad. 
So hopefully, once this is all done, we can unsell the war, and then we'll know exactly how much money we have so we can repay the loan and maybe even buy some of the machinery outright. Because we're currently doing rent to own. Um, and yes, we really want to be owning them. Not everything is rented. I have purchased the windrower now. Oh, crikey. I want to swath if we can do. Should be able to. Or do I? Maybe. Because I, I do have um, chop straw. I think and I will... I will bail. Chop straw will put an application of fertilizer on. But I would prefer to get the straw. It's looking very open now without the trees. That's something I don't like. We need more trees. We need to get some more trees put into the ground. Right, I think this field is just a lap and a half, pretty much. Go down, back up, and then come back down again. It does open up a bit at the bottom here, but not very much. I think this series has come a long way. I haven't actually looked back at episode number one, but I can imagine if I did, it would be quite surprising. A real eye-opener. Okay, right, let's get the rest of the field harvested. As expected, it's not quite a full load, but it is close. For a minute there I thought it was going to be a full load. 92%. Brilliant. So um, yeah, there's no other fields ready to harvest at the moment, but the canola field is probably going to be ready next time. So I might just go and park on the track over there. Then we can head off. If I park the combine here, it's putting pressure on the crop. <laughs> Come on, get ready. Uh, yes, I think it is going to be ready next time, though. Should be. So we have just over 4,000 litres to sell, so that's going to be another £5,000 or so to bring in. It's just a guess, but... Uh, four or 5,000. I was just driving past the entrance and I saw that the barriers are going down. My timing is incredible. Stop, 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 stop. Please. Good. So in the time that's going to take to stop and reverse, we should be able to make it over to the uh, silo. Is a car coming up behind me? Oh, there it is. Trying not to crash into it. It's okay, I've crashed into the van. Oh, good grief, they've blocked the entrance. Okay, thank you, white car. I've crashed into the van again. By now, the train will be waiting. We'll get that unloading and we will quickly sprint over to the train. We are going to have to go out this way. We don't want to keep it waiting. We'll keep the traffic waiting. <laughs> yep, that's kept the barriers down. We will be popular. Okay, and now just press R and it should fill. There we go, 3%. Sorry traffic, don't worry, you'll be able to move any second. we go and now they can cross if the barriers are going to go up maybe they will <laughs> uh, maybe we're out of range actually maybe we can't see the vehicles from this distance that's probably more likely so yes let's just uh, wait to be thrown out and then we'll collect our money 
It's an interesting way of doing business. Throw the driver out, and then we sell the grain. There we go. Lovely. So yeah, five thousand pounds. That's predicted. Um, so we can now drive back. We'll see what else there is to do on the farm. But really, we're basically relying heavily on this wall. We've been saving it up for so long. I found a job to do. Very quick job. This field on the left hand side needs to be fertilised. Now I know we've got an IBC over here. I think it's an IBC of fertiliser. Should be. So we can very quickly spray it. I've just put the sprayer away as well. Um, although maybe this is a job for the John Deere. Not that I want to breathe the chemicals in. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just it's a small attractor, so it's going to be easier to manage. Oh, don't do that. It opens. Uh, it doesn't open. It picks up machinery inside. Yes, yeah, so I've knocked the mower over. I need to stop doing that. Sorry, mower. There we go. Uh, yeah. So there's the uh, sprayer. Attach the tanker, and we'll put the sprayer on the back. It already does have 57% in it, but it's not a very big sprayer, so we'll top it up. We'll get it to 100%. There we go. That should be perfect for giving this field a full application of fertiliser. Okay. Not quite there yet. There we go. Make sure it's working. It is. See it just registering there. Now I'm going to have to overlap a little bit because I'm going to have to guess where we've been. Shouldn't be too hard to work it out. I'd rather overlap though than miss bits. I think in real life if you did overlap uh, with the same application you'd probably kill the crop. Would it be way too much nitrogen? Uh, but yeah, in this game it really doesn't matter at all. Just make sure we get it all nicely covered. did I do? Oh dear. It's funny because it felt like I was doing a good job. It's actually not as big of an area as it seems, but I will have to get that tidied up. Yeah, like when you get a slither, it's, it's next to nothing at all. It's probably not even worth doing because it's just a waste of fertiliser. But I will do this big piece over here, or bigger piece, it's still pretty tiny. I think it must be here. Yep. So if I keep following this sort of trajectory, <laughs> uh, we might uh, we might hit it. Oh, nice! Straight up through the centre. Perfect. So yeah, we can uh, we can bail, bail the straw. There really won't be many bales, two or three. It's looking like the next load of grass is going to be for silage. 
because we already have three hay bales in here, which doesn't sound like much, but for these sheep, that's loads. They've already got, I think they've already got two bales that they're processing at the moment, so uh, yes, they are working their way through those two nicely. But it's going to give us plenty of time to do another cut of silage. Make a good chunk of money. Okay, so we've already got 43%. Ooh, that's not good. 43% grass in here, which will likely get converted into straw. Yep, it's being converted. Um, so I'll have the automatic unload enabled. And we'll await the first bale. Uh, yeah, and it already does have quite a bit in it. So it just goes to show, looking at the current fill rate, that we are only going to get maybe three. I'm thinking three bales. I suppose that a push we might get four. Very hard to guess. I'm going to say three. But I am usually wrong with my guesses, but we'll see. We'll probably be left with some in the baler, but it wouldn't count as a full bale. it is. I should have put the uh, pallet fork on because then I could have moved them straight away. Hopefully we can carry three at the same time. I think yeah, the limitation would be the uh, rear weight or lack of rear weight. So if I stick something else on the back instead we could potentially bring all three back. The best price uh, for, for straw tends to be in uh, sort of December time so it won't be terrible. We could take it with the um, wool, although the trailer is full. I think we'll wait for the best price. Okay, what can we put on the back? The cultivator. Excellent. Two down here, one at the top. So I think if I put this one next to the other one, we can then pick them both up together. All those straw bales wasted just left outside to rot. That farm looks pretty empty. I'm not sure if anybody even lives there. They certainly haven't used their bales if they do live there. Right, that's 10,000 litres. We've got 15 in total. Yeah, that seems nice and stable, so we should easily be able to pick up three. And now we'll pop that one on top. Hopefully it doesn't make the other two spread out. I think we're going to be harvesting maybe three fields next time because we've got those two other ones, the two new ones, plus the canola field. So then we can drill them all together as well, including this one. Ooh, that was looking good until I turned. But we should be alright. Oh, good grief. What are the chances of that? It literally popped off. It was like... <laughs> Good grief. So these can uh, go where the... Yeah, I think they can go where the wall was. Next to the... Silage pit. That's... Fairly easy to transport. Hmm. 
There we go. No doubt we'll have more soon. Right, so now we can finish, well, we'll pass a bit of time. Um, we can finish with selling the uh, wool. We need to make sure we take the other one to the pallet which is being produced currently. Right, we'll leave it until it's just starting to go dark, it's dusk. Yep, that'll do nicely. We've got a bit more added to it, and the current price is 3612. Wow, that is very good. So off we go. So let's go around the other side to get into the trigger. Hopefully we can sell them all in one go. Get one really good lump sum. Lovely. 31,698. So our loan is 20,000, so we can repay it. So we now completely own the silo, which is great. And we're left with 18,600. So I think probably with that sort of money, I'm not gonna buy anything outright today. Everything which is rented can remain rented. Um, we don't wanna be getting into negative figures in the bank, but this is good. This. Makes it less stressful, because the farm is not going to go to debt. Uh, we're always going to have some money available. So I think after the next harvest, when we sell lots and lots of grain, um, we can uh, hopefully buy things. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.